In this video, we will solve question 4 of exercise 1.1. So, question 4 is a little bit different from the other three previous questions in exercise 1.1 in the sense that you have to pick out something extra, which is that you have to sub in the point given to you. So, we have to sub in the point 2, 3. So let me just write that down. Sub in the points 2, 3. And then we will have a new set of equation. Okay, so let me rewrite this into a form that we are very familiar with. We call this equation 1, we call this equation 2. And there you have it. This is just a pair of simultaneous equations which we are already very familiar with solving. So let me just solve this equation, uh, this pair of simultaneous equation using the substitution method. Okay. So let me just use 1 again and make A the subject of the formula. So what I've effectively just done over here is I've divided the equation throughout by 2 and I have shifted this term over to the right hand side. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to sub this new equation 3 into equation 2. Okay, so what I will have is 3 A, now we know it's half minus 3 over 2 B minus 2 B equals to A. So let me just expand this thing out minus 9 over 2 B minus 2 B equals to A. Okay, solving for b, we will get 13 over 2b is equals to minus 13 over 2. And that leaves us with b equals to minus 1. Now a lot of students will stop here, like I said, but it is not the end yet. We still have to solve for a, and we always choose equation 3 because a is already the subject in equation 3 minus 3 over 2 and b is just minus 1 and what we get is a is 4 over 2 which is equals to 2 so what we have is a equals to 2 and b equals to minus 1 okay so bear in mind we always choose equation 3 because a is already the subject of the equation okay with that Thank you very much.